In this tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to remove uh, this fly away or stray hair from your images in Photoshop. I've also been having issues uh, regarding on how to remove this uh, stray hair, this fly away hair from uh, the portraits. Uh, it kind of distracts and doesn't give uh, the right results. And removing this uh, stray hair is one of the photographer's biggest nightmares. So I'm going to show you guys how to remove this stray hair from uh, your images so <clears throat> this is usually fly away or stray hair i don't know whatever you prefer to call it and we are going to be using uh two blend modes and we're going to be using the blend mode of lighten and darken so <clears throat> let me show you guys i'm sorry i'm having uh some i'm not well uh let me show you what we are going to do for this i don't want this tutorial to be a long one so just come and create a new blank layer so come to your blending and select uh we're going to use darken and lighten so so for this i'm going to select click on your lighten remember uh when you're removing dark hair you'll be on your lighten blend mode so for easy illustration name in, name this dark hair I'm going to name this dark hair so this is our blank layer so come to your clone stamp tool click on it make sure it is normal the opacity is at 100 and the flow is at 100 percent and make sure our line is checked and a sample all layers so just come and we are going to uh, be removing each strand at a time make sure you're not uh, in a hurry you take your time if I told you want to get uh, the most accurate results so that's what you have to do you have to take your time while removing uh, these little strand hairs from uh, your images so just come I want to and start removing each strand hair at a time so come press all to sample from the area you want to that is close to the hair and paint over come sample paint over that area so sample and paint over to uh, clear that specific hair strand so hope you guys can see what it is doing and it is really doing this uh, we are not doing so much so this is how to uh, get rid of stray hair. So let me show you guys the before and after. You can see this specific area. So I'm trying to rush uh, to show you guys uh, the effect it does to uh, your images. So that's why I'm not being so, so accurate about this. So before, after, before, after. You can see. So le let me try to uh, take out... Uh, like a big strand of hair i'm going to use uh, this specific area so i'm going to sample from right here and i'm going to uh, paint over this area right here you can see um i'm now eliminating uh, most of the hair so click all to sample and paint over uh, the, the hair you want to uh, get rid of so yeah and remember uh what this does is uh remember when you're using your clone stamp tool uh it eliminates the hair because the hair is darker than the background so uh for this blend mode so if at all your hair is lighter if at all your hair is lighter than the background uh you'll use another option just come create a new layer and this time you are going to select darken so when you click on darken use the same procedure and you can name this light hair so when when you name these uh these uh, layers light and dark hair it uh helps you, it guides you when you're removing the hair it shows you this time you have to select this layer to get rid of the light hair so for the darken blend mode uh, it usually works when you're removing the hair which is way way too bright brighter than the background 
and for the second blend mode which is the lighten a blend mode it helps us eliminate the fly away hair or yeah it is called the stray hair it helps us to remove the stray hair which is way way darker than the background so i hope you guys can understand this so i'm going to come back to my uh my dark hair or my light and blend mode so remember i named this dark hair so i'm going i'm getting rid of uh, this uh stray hair because it is darker than the background so i'm going to be using the light and blend mode i don't know if i make sense but this is how it is done so all to sample and paint over uh, that area you want to clean or clear so you can even use it to uh, shape the hair so you can see the effect so let me show you guys the before and after before after before after uh, you can really go on uh, while clearing uh, these <clears throat> little remaining strands of hair yeah by sampling and cleaning them so uh this uh this really needs you guys to be careful while removing the strand here because you may end up distorting most of the features so you really have to be careful and this is like a recap for today's tutorial remember when you're getting rid of dark hair make sure your blend mode is uh lighten remember uh when the hair is darker than the background use the light and blend mode yeah because the uh because we are trying to eliminate the dark hair and when the hair is lighter than uh the background make sure you use uh, the dark and blend mode to eliminate that uh bright hair which is uh brighter than the background so like let me explain it in simple terms and uh, this blend mode will be darkening that particular part of the hair if at all it is light and for the dark uh, the dark hair blend mode will be lightening uh this hair which is uh darker than the background so that it kind of matches at uh, the background when we eliminate it so this tutorial has been about how you can eliminate uh that stray or fly away hair from your images i hope you guys understood and if at all you didn't get anything make sure you uh, drop a comment in the comment section here. and if at all you love this tutorial make sure you hit uh, the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and yeah this image was taken by canon studios i'm going to put his uh his instagram link in the description so that you guys can follow him up he's an amazing photographer and yeah for today i forgot to in introduce myself i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching till next time